Hey, it's uh, been a while. Good to see you. And may I be the first to welcome you into phase three? Well, um, we've got the obvious changes here, uh, like the visual. I mean, look at that image. Uh, you can see it's even better than before. Honestly, crystal clear. Oh, I forgot. There may, uh, may be some newcomers. Um, best explain ourselves. Todd? Yeah, of course. My name is... Uh, actually, Todd, I meant I'd do the explaining and you just kind of sit in the corner, you know. Have your juice box or something. That seems fun, doesn't it? Can do, I guess. When would you like me to come back? Right. This is Budget Films you're watching. We do our history videos and a bunch of other stuff too. Uh, I'm a triangle. Uh, you probably could have already told that by now. And this is Todd Rogers. And he doesn't take a hint very well, apparently. Hello? You kind of you kind of left me hanging there, buddy. Fine. Since you so desperately want to help, then you may explain yourself to a potential audience. Alrighty. Hello? Hola? Bonjour? Uh, maybe cut to the chase a little bit. Sorry. I apologize completely. Ahem. <laughs> yeah, there's no need for the cough. You've been speaking for the past 12 seconds now. Well, hello, I'm Todd Rogers. I'm a historian. I work for Hallstep. Um, I like ponies. I like summer. I like sunshine. And I like ice cream. Well, uh, enough said, I think. Todd's quite easily distracted. Why don't you tell him about one of your uh, photo memory uh, stories, Todd? I'm, I'm sure that always comes in handy, doesn't it? Oh, wait, wait it's never ha it never has, has it? Well, that's quite a sensitive subject right there. I don't really feel comfortable talking about that. Well, you are the one that wanted to talk, Todd, so why don't you talk? I need some fresh air. I'm feeling a bit sick. I'll see you in five. Bah. This is lovely. Peace and quiet. Absolute bliss. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. He's like the rectangular punching bag. No matter what you throw at him, he'll always come swinging on back. Anyway, standards are raising. I got some new uh, backdrops to stand in front of. I mean, seriously, the old ones were becoming really overused, isn't it? Like, this is better. We'll be covering some new topics. Uh, the upload schedule may change slightly with the longer episodes becoming less frequent and the history ones just being uh, the little ones to fill in the gap. Um, that being said, though, I can't confirm or deny whether there will be a uh, video next week. Obviously, right now I'm uh, recording this, so I haven't started any of the work of any kind, but, um, running out of things to talk about, kind of, uh, what is taking Todd so long, and did he, did he, like, pass out or something? I hope he's not wandered off again. Oh, I pay whole step by the error for him, and last time, he wandered off and claimed that his excuse was finding a cotton candy stall. I can't say I wasn't impressed, though, when he managed to eat the entirety of the cotton candy from the supply. I have hired a forgetful historian. Who's to say that he actually remember history? I, I, he, he might not even be able to remember it's even true. He's so easily distracted, you know? Uh, ah, alright. I've had enough. I'm, I'm heading out to find him. There you are. What, what are you doing? Have you ever thought about butterflies? They put all their effort into one task to die a week later and not leave a mark in the world. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say you're actually somewhat like a butterfly, Todd. You're right. I missed the boat a long, long time ago. Oh, don't you dare flashback now. No. No. No! It was just a useful lad back then. I liked dancing. The problem was that I mixed with the wrong crowd. Look, guys, look, look what I learned to do. That was rubbish, mate. Absolute rubbish, mate. You can't dance at all. Really? Do you think I could improve? Better to quit while you're ahead. Yeah, yeah, I guess I will. Oh, don't be like that. Hey, stick with us. Trust me, friend, you will get far in life. That was where it was about to change, but I couldn't get it out of my head, so I entered the talent show. I got up on stage, but I couldn't face it and I broke down in tears. I felt I feared that I'd lost them. Not long after that, my parents switched school and I never saw them again. From then on I swore to never dance. That's nice and all. 
But unless I want to pay for a third hour, I suggest you head back inside with me and we wrap this up quickly. I don't want to give all my money to Hellstep after all. Yeah, don't we all?